Welcome, traveler, to the longest ladder in the Mojave Desert. This was a ladder used by employers of home kitchen fixture to incorporate to access the office building across the Colorado River ahead by way of the shortest bridge across the Colorado and the Mojave Desert. Due to many employee deaths, straps were taken, steps, not straps, were taken to improve worker safety and or reduce liability, such as installing a nearby elevator to descend the cliff or replace employees with robotic salesmen who had no rights under the U.S. Constitution. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Leave the ladder alone. Use like super grippy gloves to send the ladder. Turn the super grippy gloves. Turn them on. You gotta turn them on. That's a Rick and Morty thing. You didn't turn them on. Yeah, now you use it. Yeah. Mmm. My Rick and Morty knowledge came in good. Even though on that first episode, I wasn't too sure about. Alright, here we go. I should probably, I could probably take this off now. <gasps> Star Trails. Star Trails. We were meant to be Star Trails, just you and me. Hey, Al Chesbridge, there you are. Just uh, listen to what I've got to say before you do anything uh, rash, okay? The script, long time no see. Yeah, it's me, Graham, the script, whatever. Listen, I'm talking through the surveillance bot. I mean, there's some stuff you should know. What's going on? I'm sure you're aware that the private investigator Holly was attacked by the androids you're trying to track down. And you know something about it? I figured she was dead. I figured she was dead. No, close, but no. She's at my place. I patched her up. I think she'll make it. But that's not the reason I'm talking to you. I was able to fix one of the androids that the, she disabled during the attack. What? Why would you bring one of them back to life? Isn't that dangerous? Why do I care? Uh, isn't that dangerous? Potentially, maybe, but the interface I used to program the iBot you're talking to turned out to be the same one the android has. Same manufacturer or something, I guess. But anyways, I rebooted the android to its default settings, and... Well, the android seems pretty self-aware. It could tell you some information about what you're about to do. Like what? I'm not about to listen to what this homicidal toaster has to say. I'm living now. Like what? Just, uh, well, let me put her on. Okay, I'll talk to her. No, Blake told me... No, Blake told me to go in there and kill androids and get loot. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'll, t I'll talk to her. <laughs> hello? 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 Skip the formalities, you murderous bucket of bolts. What do you have to tell me? Hello? My name's Julie. I'm... I was one of the salesman androids, but I'm better now. And I'm sorry about your friend. I didn't mean for that to happen. What do you mean, better? What the hell do you mean? You didn't mean to nearly kill someone? I don't care who or what you are. If you've got something to help me, spit it out. What do you mean, better? I haven't always been an android salesman. Or an android. I can barely remember. But I was human at one point. A long time ago. What? What do you mean? You haven't always been an android? No, I haven't. It was horrible. Al chest breach. During the big war, it happened. The company, Blue Synth Robotics, did it to us. All the androids in that building were human. We were aimless people, forgettable faces in the crowd, homeless, or alone, or runaways, criminals. There was a shortage of manpower, so they'd steal us from our beds, put us on a table with bright lights, white walls, steel blades, b b curtains. We woke up more durable, more strong. We could work without stop, with no sleep, mechanical instead of flesh and bone. For an eternity, I was trapped in my head, watching my body walk and breathe and labor with no control over it. At one point, I was sold to this kitchenware's office as a Selman android. I worked as that for a time. Then the bombs dropped. An employee activated our hibernation protocols. Nuclear flame consumed the horizon. At last, I thought, I could cease to exist. And then, as soon as I closed my eyes, I opened them again to the face of the men in power armor who control the androids currently. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going now. Okay, can you help me defeat the men in power armor? Who are the men in power armor? They say they're from the Commonwealth. Oh, God, my voice. They also mentioned the Institute. I think that's supposed to be Massachusetts before the bombs fell. I'm, I'm not from this world. I have no idea what your world's like now. All I know is my life before the bombs. But they are powerful soldiers. I would not try to fight them. They're also not unreasonable or overly violent. You may even be able to talk them down or convince them to leave. Okay. Can you help me defeat them? Yes. The Commonwealth soldiers will have all the androids on alert. They'll be patrolling the building. However, on the third floor, there's a control terminal for the androids. If you can reach a terminal without being noticed by the androids, you would be able to disable the patrol routine. You could do any number of things to them, really. Well, what would you want me to do? What do I want? Well, I'd like to meet my friends. I've spent an eternity laboring next to them without ever being able to talk to them. More than anything, I'd like for all of them to be able to regain control of themselves like Graham has done for me. But even if that's impossible, please do everything you can to avoid killing them. I have to believe they can be freed somehow. Okay, I'm going. Okay, best of luck. Please keep my requests in mind. Hey, Al Chesbreach, Graham here again. Blake definitely knows something about all this. The fact that he wouldn't tell you anything about it, plus the fact that he's instructed you to simply kill everything that moves in that office, I'd watch out. Alright, thanks, Star Trails. My arm's invisible. Hmm. Alright, third floor. Oh, God, sneaky sneaks. I am the worst at sneaky sneaks. 
All right, everyone wait here. Goddamn sneaky sneaks. Goddamn sneaky sneaks. Uh, you can't wait. You got them sneaky sneaks. Got them sneaky sneaks. Got them sneaky sneaks. You got them sneaky sneaks. Mm, you kids want to go to the rave club? I think you do. We got them sneaky sneaks. Apples. All right, and Steve is somewhere, and we'll appear immediately when I get inside. Okay. Stealth boy. Did you know? Yes. Wait a minute. What? Hmm. All right. Well, that's saying over there, but whatever. Crap. Hopefully, I didn't mess this up. It's Steve. Oh, calm down, Steve. Nothing to see here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Enough. That takes he, care of that. Yep, he's gone. Steve's at the rave club, too. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Bum, 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 Inspector Gadget, bump and up and up, it's breach, bump, bump and up and up, Inspector Breach Bar, bump and up and up, bump, bump, go, breach, you go, bump and up and to open and doors, yeah, go, breach, you go, I'm gonna open some doors, gonna open some doors, then bump and up and up, Inspector Breach Face, bump and up and up, woohoo! Alright, if I'm on the first floor, then this would be the second floor. And I have to get to the third floor. Third floor. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 poop, poop. Bum, 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 poop. Bum, 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 poop. Bum, 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 poop, poop. poop. Oh man, I really need to get to the third floor. Shh, Nikes. This is not gonna be good. Any moment. Oh, we have, I have 16 stealth boys. Stealth boys. I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. Oh, I typed into the computer and that was the password. Disengage lock. Okay. What? Oh, door, right. <laughs> Inspector breach face. Dun, 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 dun. No. Dun, 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 dun. I was incorrect. Alright, I'm not. Hmm. No! No one sees me. Shut up. Oh, God. Quick. Search everything. <laughs> Do I have? No, I don't. <sighs> Alright, well. Hmm. You know what I hope also Fallout 4 has? Like, three-dimensional maps. That'd be pretty awesome. for a terminal. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, robots. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
Okie dokie. Ah, the south is like beat. You just keep hitting it until the plate flies out. Peace. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. There is a, something coming through your window. Quick, call the cops. All right, so we're good. Oh, this is the fourth floor. Crap. Hmm. All right, maybe it is that. You know what? Okay, you know what? It is that. It's got to be that room, because that's where the guys in power armor were. And I will use this gun. Actually, I could use the other one, although it, that disables them, so maybe that wouldn't be a great idea. Oh, no. Nothing to see. Had enough. Yo, I've been expecting you. Expecting me? Yes, it seems you finally discovered the source of your troubles. The androids and power armor clad soldiers. Here we are. Have you decided to destroy these androids in retribution? Sack this building for its valuables? It makes no difference to me. These cut-rate machines have already been slated for destruction. They are of no consequence to me or the Commonwealth. So do as you will, stranger. We will leave soon, and none of this will matter. So you're the ones who destroyed Blake Bradley's business? Revival tech? Ah, yes. That old place. I was a young man back then. Yes, it was us. Some of Blake's work was truly useful to the Institute. It was truly an oversight to attack the factory rather than to try and recruit the engineers, but that's all in the past. Of no concern to us now. You're going to destroy the androids? Go ahead. That's what I came here to do anyways. So you're not also androids? Us? The same as these shallowly constructed synthetic salesmen? Don't make me laugh. We are, the co we are the Commonwealth and the Institute, a more civilized and advanced land far to the east. Of course, my comrades and I are but a surveying party. We discovered this cache of robotic salesmen and thought they could do stuff for us, like sell bakery objects. They have outlived their use, however, and will be destroyed shortly. Why destroy the androids? They've done nothing wrong. They've only been manipulated. Wow. Manipulated. Manipulated, everyone. Uh, yeah, why destroy them? Quite simply, their inferior technology, attacking people who refuse their wares, was never intended. Aspects such as those, they draw too much attention. Our purpose here is to scout out the area, gather resources, influence events in ways that benefit the Commonwealth. Without drawing attention to it, the androids cannot accomplish this on their own. We are pulling out of the area. As new events in the Commonwealth draw our attention, we can't we can expect the androids to keep up the operation. So we will destroy them, lest they come to benefit someone else. You don't need to destroy them. Give me control. And why should I do that? Because your androids aren't at all inconspicuous. Plenty of people have noticed them, and you. I could reflash their IFF units to make them tear you apart. Please don't make me have to do that. What? How? We've obviously been blinded to the true progression of technology of those in West. Fine. Take the androids. It matters little to the Commonwealth in the grand scheme of things. We'll return one day. Hope you're able to outwit us again when the time comes again. I have the upper hand, and I'm going to keep it that way. So leave your weapons and armor behind, naked boy. You, you, we have no choice. You'll regret humiliating the Commonwealth like this. Mark my words. Yeah, okay. I'll be playing Fallout 4 in, like, I don't know, two months or something. Salesman routine. Work Christmas party routine. Mr. Ender super sexy fun time routine. Self-destruct all androids. Factory reset all androids. Mr. Ender super sexy fun time. Whoa, stop shooting me, bro. I want Mr. Ender. Mr. Ender, super sexy time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, this will reset all unregistered androids. Are you sure you want to proceed? Warning personalities of androids after the state will reset to unpredictable levels. Yes. Now you're my friend. Now you're all my friends. Now you can go through the Mojave and make chicken wings. You're my friends. You're my friends. You're my friends. Oh my god, everyone is my friend. Hey. What do you need? You're welcome, asshole. Bye. Yeah, whatever, you nerd. God damn. The nerve of some people. You know? Well, I guess I could buy some fridges and ovens. Hey, naked guys. What do you need? You guys should leave. I told you to leave. What are you doing? Leave. Make a make like a tree and leaf. All right, you're all going the wrong way. Or maybe you're going the right way. 
Saving robots. I'm saving robots. I saved a bunch of robots from dying. Wonder if these robots could teach me a thing or two about speaking English. Not very good at speaking today. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's something come through window. Oh god, I'm sorry. All right, well we got it open. Dun 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 dun. I cheated. Dun 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 dun. dun. Local forces. Oh, this is all their disguises. Huh, I understand. I understand now. I understand just what's happening. Oh, knock the glue over. All right. Holly's last note. Hey, believe ba 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 boo. The area is currently characterized by two large factions, MCR and Kaiser. We have got the samples of their armors, arms, and blah, blah, blah. MCR is impressive. A lot of stuff and things, and they shoot people. And Legion's like, yo, man, I like slaves, and I like football. Whoa, Sunday night. City of New Vegas is apparently lorded over by Mr. House, who controls the city with combat robots. There are also reports of, a, of uh, the Brotherhood of Steel in the area, though they have not been seen for a while. These two factions are more technology advanced than the MCR or Legion. Legion, wow. Um, they'll still appear to be behind the capabilities of the Institute, which in the area appears stable, no current danger to the Commonwealth. Alright, cool. Uh, let's head back to the script, and then we'll go to Blake. Meanwhile, at the lair of the script, some familiar faces reveal themselves. Move along, please. Alright, don't tell me how to live my life. Hey, where's your uh, star trails? Where's what's his name? Where's his girlfriend? Oh god. Hey, you know what? Let's go talk to her, sure. Hey, Julie! You did it! You freed my friends! Thank you! Thanks! Thanks so much! You said you had a reward? Man, I'm a callous. Well, what? Yeah, you had a reward? Yes, yes, I have something for you. I figured out a way that I could transplant some of my android parts into you. It'd be a simple procedure, but there's only so much room on your body, so you can only choose two of the implants. How oh, would that work? What? Just choose two attributes and I'll do the work to implant them. Really? I don't need a reward. No thanks. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, choose carefully. I'll start as soon as you can choose your first upgrade. I want to be more agile, charismatic, damage, terrestrial, endurance, talent. Wow, that's awesome. That's so cool. I want to be more strong. I want to lift all the bones. Second. Uh, intelligent. Or perceptive. Intelligent. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Hey, you're faking it. Wake up. Guess she's not faking it. What's up, nerd? How you doing, nerd? Hey. Looks like the androids all have their humanity back. That was really good of you. The android girl is really happy. You should go talk to her. She's got something for you. I, I, I did. She's in the other room, sitting next to Holly. Is Holly going to be okay? From what I can tell, she's stable, but she's stable in some kind of coma. I think I could do something about it with the right supplies. Oh, great. Yeah, you want me to get them for you? Well, I mean, there's still some damage to internals. I would need a doctor's bag to fix that up. Then I think a mega stim pack straight to the heart should shock her out of the coma. Okay, listen, I have... I've seen it come like that before. You should be able to do the same with medics and the stim pack. Okay, come back when you have both of those. All right, well, I, I got it. Wait, don't go to sleep. I have a bed. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna bring you up, yeah. Man, it's gonna piss them off so much. Na, 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 na. Holly's returned to her home in the desert. Oh god, wait, it said I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Alright, maybe we'll visit her before we go back to uh Rick. Touch the door. Boom! Man, cannot knock down that protector drone. Can't knock down that protectron. 
let's go. Let's go visit Holly real quick. Be like, you're welcome, Holly. Uh oh. Red? It's nighttime. I'm not supposed to go in here. Hey. Where's Holly? Oh, she's sleeping. Wake up! You're welcome. Oh, uh, you're in my house. Like in my house, house. House, house. Bye. Yeah, you're welcome. Unbelievable. Alright. Mm, back. Good old Blake's. Good news! You know, I don't quite want to. Yeah, I know, I heard about it. So, uh, we figured out who was buying everything, but they left, and the androids are free. The androids? Who? What? Buddy, I don't care about any androids. I just wanted to kill those Commonwealth soldiers. That's all that mattered. So, you knew about the Commonwealth the whole time? Of course I knew about the Commonwealth, buddy. I know everybody. I told you that. I, uh, I, I just need someone, something that Connor guy had, you know? But you told me you didn't know who was in that office, Blake. You didn't help me at all. That was all just to prepare you for <coughs> life, pal. You gotta think on your feet, like old Blake here. What if I told you exactly what those Commonwealth guys wanted to hear? Make them hand over the controls. What if I gave you this handheld device I made last week that could reprogram blue synth robots from 100 feet away? There'd be no chance at all that you'd kill those soldiers and get my <coughs> portal gun back. Not at all. You just want me to kill the Commonwealth soldiers and get your thing back? That may or may not have been the case. You know, I'm real disappointed with you. Uh, what's your name, buddy? You're real messed up. You really messed this up for me. Now I gotta go to the Commonwealth myself and get my stuff back from those Institute amateurs myself. Jeez. I'm starting to think I'm never gonna be able to go home. Well, fine. What about my reward? Reward? Go loot that building you just went to. I got a ton of stuff in the supply closet. Well, I guess you didn't kill the guy, so here's a key I had made. Go get some stuff. Well, that's it for me. Get out of this dump. Tell Marty. Never mind. I don't care about him. Later. Just poop scoot your way to freedom. Hey, Marty. Hi. Yeah, uh, he's leaving. Oh, you're both poop leaving. He left, Marty. He's gone. And I never saw him again. Except for that dancing rad scorpion corpse. All right, everyone, this has been a bizarre adventure. Let me tell you, that was pretty bizarre. I'm liking it. Mm, 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 delicious. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Very nice duck sauce. I like it. Ba boom, ba boom. Uh, uh, Metal Gear. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did, and I shall see you in the Wubba Lubba Dub Dub future. Away! <laughs>